How's it going, kiddos? Handsome Jack Boy here, bringing you guys the fifth episode of my Fallout 4 Unique Weapons Guide. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can obtain both the Junk Jet and the Righteous Authority. Now, to get these guns, you're going to want to make your way to Cambridge Police Station. In this area, you'll see some Brotherhood of Steel guys getting attacked by ghouls. You're going to want to help these guys out, fend off the ghouls, and then Paladin Dance, the guy in the power armor, will talk to you and offer you a mission called Call to Arms. You're going to want to follow through with this mission, and eventually he'll take you to a place called Arcjet Systems. Um, just follow him through this area. If you're having trouble with some of the enemies here, just let Paladin Dance do all the work as I think he's invincible and plus he's got a really beastly weapon, which is, by the way, the Righteous Authority, one of the guns I'm covering in this guide. Uh, but just keep following Dance and you'll be led to this area. From this point, you're going to want to make your way through here. And in this room to the right is the Junk Jet. Now, as for the Righteous Authority, just keep going through the mission and at the very end, Paladin Dance will give it to you as a quest reward. So there you go, that is how you can get both of these guns. You can actually go to Arc Jet Systems whenever you want just to get the Junk Jet, but to get the Righteous Authority you will need to go through that mission. Uh, if you want to know where Arc Jet Systems is on the map, it's going to be located right there. But enough of that, let's talk about these guns. So starting with the Junk Jet. This thing is pretty much the rocket launcher from Fallout 3. If you guys have played that game, you should know what I'm talking about. It allows you to put any junk items from your inventory into it, which are then used as its ammunition and can be launched out of it. So it's essentially a junk launcher. Uh, you can also charge your shots, which will increase the damage. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I like this gun, but I don't think I'm going to be using it a whole lot just because junk in this game is actually useful unlike in Fallout 3. In Fallout 3, a lot of the items that you found in the world didn't really have a purpose, but in this game, uh, everything you find is useful and can be scrapped for materials that can then be used for crafting and such. So, yeah, that, that's kind of the problem I'm having. If you're not really into the whole crafting thing, then this gun is, is definitely something you should get. But if you're like me and crafting is your thing, then you probably should avoid using this gun. Now moving on to the Righteous Authority, the special effect of this gun is that critical shots deal double damage and also the critical meter fills 15% faster. So overall, this gun is really nice. Uh, it definitely packs a punch, especially early on. I'd actually recommend getting it early on uh, just because of how much damage it deals and also just because of how easy it is to get this gun. I mean, really, the, the quest is pretty easy to do early in the game. Trust me, I did it at like, what, level 10? So yeah, it shouldn't be a problem getting this gun at a low level. So yeah, I think apart from that though guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'm out of here. Peace! Let's go, boy.